My role with 100 Year Starship, I'm on the advisory uh, board, um, and uh, I like to think I bring the voice of the artist to this um, multi-dimensional, uh, cross-discipline effort, um, and maybe a little bit of the shaman, a little bit of the priest as well. I think the spiritual, when we go, we'll, we'll need to take all of us, mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of who we are as a species. And um, and that means our spirituality should not be left behind. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I saw you tweeted earlier about you know feeling like you're the, not always the smartest person in the room here, at <laughs> least smart person. In the room. I totally <laughs> empathize with that. It's it's a it's a humbling feeling. It isn't is. It? it is. But it's also it's also very cool in, in a sense because um, I think there's a there's a sense in all of us that uh, likes to f believe. That the adults are in charge. Uh -huh. For <laughs> sure. Know, that 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 it, that if it were up to me, this would never get done. But I know it's not up to me. I know I have a contribution to make. I have a piece of it, as as does everybody, right? But it's not it's not completely dependent on me. There are other people in the process that that bring all of the stuff that that I don't. And that's the value of a collaborative effort. That's the value of recognizing that. This has got to be um, a global effort. That this isn't uh, this isn't just you know for uh, one demographic or for one nation. That this is all of us. Um, it's not just for rocket scientists or billionaires. It's not just for rocket scientists or billionaires. It's for all of us. It's for all of us, and we all have a stake in in this. And, and the, one of the things that I know that we are going to need to do is to reach out to the vast community out there of people who care about. Uh, the future of humanity, the future of mankind, and um, just keep hanging out at the website. Keep keep your eyes and ears open for ways to engage uh, with us on this journey because it, it really is. We, it, it, it's the truth. The the theory, the science is there, but we don't have any of the money. There's no there's no money for the research. There's nothing to turn it from theoretical into reality. Right. Do you have hope for that? Where where do I we do. go? I mean, I I really believe that that part of uh, the process. Um, will be as as we are more and more comfortable deciding to spend less on um, on war. Quite frankly, let, let me just go right there. Once we decide to spend less on war, we will have more money available to spend on everything else. The military budget is just sucking the life out of out of out of our coffers uh, as a nation and you know states mm -hmm. and, and local communities as well. We have to. Uh, do it differently. We have to reallocate the resources in a way that makes much more sense for the life, the future life and health uh, of, of our species. So what, what else are you working on right now other than 100 Year Starship? Do you have other projects? Uh, my company, RR Kids, is the rights holder to the Reading Rainbow brand. Our first product in the marketplace, the Reading Rainbow app, is, uh, is, is been out there for a year now. Um, we're experiencing what I believe to be remarkable success in terms of getting kids to read on digital devices. We're having kids read about 72,000 books a week wow. right now on the app and watching about 50,000 videos a week. So in the tradition of Reading Rainbow, the television show, which combined uh, the literature that kids read with real world experiences through, through video field trips, um, now we are a, a mobile library. Um, for tablet computers that uh, we have over 300 books and counting and about 75 videos and counting and we're a subscription model all you can eat for either ten dollars a month or 30 bucks for six months which is about five dollars a month for unlimited quality literature and video content for your kid we think it's a good value that we're offering families and we're really proud of what we're doing so that keeps me very busy and I'm also you know my other job is, as an actor uh, keeps me busy from February to June, uh, with the uh, the series Perception on TNT with Eric McCormack. Great. Thank you so much for talking to me. Yeah, man.